who do we have with us today? Uh, my name is Jesse Law. Hi, uh, Jesse. And how old are you? I'm 21. And where are you from? Um, I'm from New York originally. Okay. And uh, how, many, how long have you been in the adult business? Um, pretty recent. This is my first uh, movie, actually. <laughs> okay. This is this is the very very first one. Okay. Exciting stuff. Um, and how did you get started in the business? Um, I've been interested in it for a while. Um, but it's it's not as big in New York, so when I came to California um, and the opportunity presented itself, I was like, okay. Okay, <laughs> great, great. Um, and how long have you thought about doing this? Um, for a while, like since I started watching porn, I thought the girls were really hot, and it like looked like a good job, get paid for something you usually don't get paid for. Okay, now how old were you when you started watching porn? Um, I want to say like early high school, like ninth grade. Okay. And do you remember what kind of movies you were watching back then? Um, I didn't really know what I was looking for, so I didn't have like a browser's account or anything, so I just like, um, whatever my guy friends or like my boyfriend watched, I would be like, oh, where do you watch that? And do a little research. Okay. And um, you said you're from New York. Um, yeah. You lived there your whole life? Yep, uh, for like 20 years. Wait, 20 years, but I, in that time I went to boarding school for four years in high school and then college. Okay, where did you go to boarding school? A place called Deerfield Academy. Is that still in New York? No, it's in Massachusetts. Okay. <laughs> and when you go to boarding school, what's that like? Um, I know for, in like some places it's considered a punishment, but um, my parents always wanted me to have like the best education, and um, it was pretty academically challenging and way easier to play sports there than in New York, um, so I liked it. What ages were you there from? Uh, ninth to 12th grade, so that's like 14 to 18. Okay. Did you like it? Yeah. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Um, it was weird being away from New York for so long, but it was like, um, it was a little more relaxing and wholesome than uh, home. Okay. And did, did, did you enjoy being away from home a little bit? Yeah, I did. It was um, a nice break. I think it's important for kids to learn how to kind of fend for themselves and not have their parents do everything. Okay. Now you say your parents sent you there just to get ahead academically? Yeah. Okay. So you grew up, you're, when, you were, when you were younger, your parents were, uh, cared about you a lot and did everything you needed? Yeah. Um, they're great parents. I think as I get older, I appreciate them more. Um, like they used to make us eat healthy food and no McDonald's. And as a kid, you think that it's the worst thing on earth and they're just doing it to torture you. But now that I've grown up, I appreciate that they were just really trying their best. They really, they tried, they're wonderful people. Great, great. And so, uh, out of the boarding school, um, where did you go from there? Um, I went to Harvard. Straight from, straight from boarding school? Yeah, I didn't take a gap year or anything. Okay. Now, Harvard is a pretty prestigious school. Mm -hmm. um, was it tough to get in there? Um, yeah, I mean, I never really thought it would be possible. Uh, my dad went there, um, but he had like perfect grades and straight 800s and he's kind of like a self-proclaimed genius. I'm just kidding, he is really smart. And um, so we would talk about it a lot, but I kind of just thought like normal kids don't get in there. And then um, when application time rolled around senior year, um, I realized that he was encouraging me to apply there because he genuinely thought I had a chance and I was like, well, it's worth a try, you know what I mean? What's the worst thing that can happen? I don't get into Harvard. Um, so, yeah. Wait, what was the question? Oh, that, you answered it. Okay. You answered it. That's good. That's good. Um, now, did you get a full scholarship there, or did you just get accepted? How, how, how does it work there? Well, I got accepted early, which is um, kind of like an honor. And, um, no, I didn't get a scholarship 
I think at the Ivy League schools these days, it's kind of like whatever you need, they'll pay. Mm -hmm. I forget what the word for that is. Mm -hmm. Need-based, that's what it is. Um, but yeah, my luckily, I didn't really need it, so I guess that money went to other kids who needed it more. So no, I wasn't on a scholarship. Why didn't you need it? Um, my parents have enough money for um, us to go to school, um, which is cool. And um, also they sometimes help uh, other kids pay for their schooling. So they would care a lot about education. Your parents help other kids go, go to school? Well, yeah, you know, like scholarships, the money usually comes from like alumni or something. Okay. I mean, I think. Okay, and so your, your parents put up some money to, to help you yeah. through that? Yeah, well, they don't really ever talk about money, but um, like my dad told me the other day that he's having lunch with a kid that he's um, helping go through school. So. Wow, yeah. wow. Sounds like great, uh, a great uh, living situation growing up. That sounds uh, <laughs> really nice. Um, now, when you got into Harvard, um, what's life on campus like there? Um, well, there was a lot of time between when I got in and when I went there, because I got in, I think, in January or February, and then early decision rolls, I mean, regular decision rolls around about March or April, and then school starts the following September. Um, so I had a lot of time to kind of, like, think about what I thought it would be like, and um, there were... A lot more pretty girls than I imagined, which is cool. Um, not everybody is a huge nerd. and um, But on the other hand, everyone does have to do something pretty impressive to get in. So everybody, I found out if you really talk to them, has some sort of like cool story or talent. Um, so yeah, very interesting people. What was your cool story or talent that got you in there? Um, I... It's not really a major in high school, but I got a distinguishment in um, in classics, like Latin and Greek okay. stuff. Now, is that just studying the, the culture there or the history there? Or what, what does that mean? Um, a little bit of the culture and history, geography, um, going through the different rulers, and then also um, the languages themselves. So you can speak Greek and Latin? Ancient Greek, I can do a little, and Latin, I can do. Wow, you can speak full Latin. It's not really a language that you become fluent in because mm -hmm. nobody speaks it, but sure. I can read it and write for sure. Okay, that's that's pretty impressive. I don't know if you're the first person I met that can do that. Um, cool. Now, what prompted you to come into this industry uh, with that background? Um. I took a little time off school to go to California, and this kind of is um, a lot bigger in California than it is on the East Coast, at least in my experience. And um, yeah, I mean, I shot with one of my friends who's a photographer, and I realized that like I really uh, I liked being in front of the camera, and I saw the pictures, and I always thought like I wasn't pretty enough to model. So I was like pretty excited when I saw the pictures, and I was like, "Huh, oh, I can do this." Okay. So why 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 choose porno? Um, I mean, I, honestly, I have a really different view of it than I think most people do. Um, I think that it's beautiful, shouldn't be shamed, um, and I think it's an expression of like some of our most basic human needs and wants, so. So when you got to Harvard, um, you know, uh, people when they're going to college, they expect it to be this huge sex-fueled, uh, you know, experience that they're going to go on. Um, how was that experience for you? I think that when you think of that stereotype, it does not apply to Harvard. Um, yeah, I mean, in my experience, not much sex was going on. Um, I really was just having fun, but I was, I think, having more sex than the average person, so I kind of got a little bit of a hard time because of that. But, um, 
You mean from other students? Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I like I always stay true to myself, so um, I don't get like overwhelmed by what other people think. Okay. Thankfully. Okay. Um, how often were you having sex with with other members of the, with other <laughs> students at the school? Huh? Other members of the Harvard Society. Exactly. Um, <laughs> I I had a boyfriend. My like first half of freshman year, kind of. Mm -hmm. So, that was an unsuccessful relationship. Why so, um, I mean, I think I was just too young, probably, and didn't really know, like, who I was, and we fought a lot, and, I mean, I'm happy I went through that, though, because I'll never do it again, and I, <laughs> I kind of realized that, like, there should be no reason for fighting all the time. And um, yeah, I'm I'm a little bit changed since that. Like I was definitely a crazy girlfriend for a little bit, and um, it's weird because I see a lot of my friends in those relationships now, and I'm so happy that that like I got over with that, so I can move on. What would you do that was crazy? Um, I guess we just didn't really trust each other that much. Um, we had really good sex, but I think that. Um, Personality-wise, we we clashed a little bit, and it took a while to figure that out. Okay, okay. Um, now, going going to a school such as that, you say that, mm -hmm. that they don't fit the stereotype that most people have about colleges. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> what were the party? You know, did you attend parties there at all? Did I attend parties? <laughs> um, were there parties? Yeah. No. There's. Um, there's final clubs, which I guess you could maybe compare to like a frat in that it's a bunch of um, guys in the same social circle who have like traditions and a house and um, parties and, and all that. And then also there's Boston, um, like 10 minutes away from school, which is fun to go out in. Um, yeah. Okay. Now, what were those parties like? What was going on there? Um, you know, the usual drinking, dancing, music, um, yeah, and hanging out. Up? Yeah, probably. Okay. Did you ever hook up with people at these parties? I'm not a big, like, PDA person. I don't really, never felt the need to, like, hook up with somebody in front of everybody else at the party. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, I don't know if that answers Well, did you question. ever meet a person at these parties and go home and have sex with them? Yeah, but um, I think that makes it sound more random than it is because it is a small school and there's an even smaller number of kids that go out, so you kind of know the people a little, like, pretty well, depending on the person. Okay, okay. And would you say that the, the guys that were attending the school were uh, good in bed, bad in bed? <laughs> no, not naming names. Just oh, yeah, just no, throwing that, it out there. It would not happen. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that it's not really a Harvard thing. It's just like an age thing where some people are experienced at our age and some people are not. Okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Now, when you were at these parties and you would, you know, somebody would, would, would grab your attention, mm. uh, what sort of things were you looking for in a guy to, to sleep with? Um, I mean, I never really went after it. That's not really my style. But um, I don't know. I'm a pretty big personality person. Like, um, laughing is, like, really important to me. And, um, yeah, not someone who's like really mean that kind of lost its attractiveness um, as I grew up. Yeah, I guess, I don't know, laughing, getting along, being attracted, that kind of thing. How are you feeling about this experience that's about to happen here? Um, a little bit nervous. <laughs> what are some things you're nervous about? Um, well, I've never really had sex in front of cameras before. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. 
Well, uh, what, are, what are some things that you think might happen that are, that are a little nerve-wracking? I'm trying not to, like, play out my paranoid thoughts, but, um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know it'll, it'll go well, but sometimes I just get nervous anyway. Okay, okay. Um, well, uh, you know, we're excited. We really are. Um, can't wait to get this thing started. Uh, you look like you're, you know, like you said when your friend took a picture of you, you are pretty. Look, you have a nice body, so, uh, you know, I don't think we're going to have any, any problems here. Okay. Um, you have any questions for us before it begins? Not that I can think of. Okay. Now, when you're envisioning this, this experience happening, I'm sure you thought about it, fantasized about it, dreamed about it, however you want to put it. Um, how do you envision this thing happening? Um, well, kind of, I leave it up to you guys, because I'm not really sure what I'm doing in terms of, like, filming and stuff, but, um... But I'm excited. I've never not liked having sex. Have you thought about anything now? Have you have you, have you envisioned or, or or fantasized or dreamed about anything that, that you think is going to happen? Um, how are you going to feel? How how his dick is going to feel? Um, I mean, sometimes it kind of looks like um, girls are like faking it, but in my mind, I am planning slash hoping that um, it can just be genuine and it'll come across like how I'm actually enjoying it, if that makes sense. Okay, great, great. Now given your background, um, you know, I've interviewed a girl that went to a, a, a big school and there was a lot of, uh, I don't want to say backlash, but people, people saw her and, uh, you know, talked about her quite a bit. She became pretty famous uh, because of that. Um, you're going to an even more prestigious school than, than she was attending. Um, mm -hmm. What do you think is going to happen when people see this video? Um, I don't know. I haven't really thought about people that I know seeing it. Um, How about the general public? That I, I mean, what we're dealing with here is, is a girl that attends one of the top three most prestigious universities in the nation. Uh, entering into a field that is pretty much frowned upon by everybody, you know. How, do, how does that make you feel? Um, it's never really stopped me before. It kind of just do me. Okay. But, uh, um, yeah. <laughs> now, are you looking to gain some of the notoriety, attention, fame that the other girl had? Um, not really. I don't really have aspirations to become famous or anything. I'm just um, doing a job that I like a lot, having fun, and hopefully it'll um, it'll come across to um, whoever's watching it. But um, yeah, but I'm not looking to be famous or anything. Okay. Well, what are you trying to accomplish in this business? Um. I mean, I'm all about new experiences. This is definitely really new, and um, I'm kind of young at an age where you're trying to figure out really what you want to do, what makes you happy. So um, I don't know, just kind of go on a personal journey, maybe. Okay. <laughs> but no, no big plans on becoming a star. Uh, no. Nah. Having a lucrative career is is the money important to you? Um. Yeah, but I don't. I wouldn't really do anything just for the money because um, I'm not really <laughs> like that. It's kind of tacky. Okay. okay. I mean, you come from a pretty privileged background, it sounds like. Um, mm -hmm. uh, is, I mean, is the option always there to go back home? Uh, my parents have been pretty good about keeping us grounded. Um, we have to work, we have to do well in school, um, we have to respect them and be polite. They don't just, um, I don't want to say they don't support us no matter what, but um, no, I don't really think of that as a fallback. I think of it as like a, a starting point. Okay. Now, are they aware that you're out here and getting ready to enter into this, uh, this career? No. What do you think their reactions will be once they find out? Well, hopefully neither of them are watching too much porn because they are my parents, but um, 
I really don't know. You know, they're surprising sometimes. Okay. And what do you think the reaction of the school will be? Again, I don't really know if I like plan on them watching, but um, I mean, to me, it's just a job like any other job. Sure, sure. I mean, in some ways. Just speaking from a reality standpoint, mm -hmm. um, they're a, they're a, a, a very uh, big school. People know who they are. They might not be large numbers, but people know exactly who they are. Mm -hmm. um, people will find out. You know, they are they are going to see this video. They are going to understand that one of their students, you know, is in this field. Mm -hmm. um, have you thought at all about, about what they may, uh, what they may say, think, or, or how they might react? Um, I mean, in my time off, I'm supposed to, um, be working really is my only requirement. So, um, I keep in touch with my dean and, um, Harvard's a pretty, um, people there are pretty smart. So, um, I'm hoping that they are kind of also open-minded. To me, I really don't see any of the issue with porn, but I know that, like you said, for some people it's different. Um, I don't understand that, but I know that it's true. We are ready to get this show started here. Um, how are you feeling? Um, pretty nervous, to be honest. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I mean... I'll be nervous if I was in front of lights the first time as well. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, we got to get you out of those clothes, obviously, to get this thing started. So let me back this up here. And uh, go ahead and stand up for me. Okay. Where am I changing? Uh, you're just going gonna, gonna to get naked right here. Right here? Right here. Okay. Is that all right? Okay. Okay. All right. So um, you've been naked in front of people before, in front of a lot of people? I wouldn't say a lot. Okay. The you mean at one time or separate, whatever, doesn't it? At one time, yeah. No. Hey, have you been naked in front of people that you're not going to have sex with before? Family members. Uh, that's kind of weird. But <laughs> Females, family members. I'm joking. Okay. Okay. Um, well, in this business, this is the naked business, okay? We are in the business of naked, so uh, we do need you to, to get out of that stuff. So go ahead and... Uh, Give the camera a slow little strip tease, okay? Try to be sexy a little bit, okay? We know it's your first time, so it's not gonna be the greatest performance ever, but, you know, give it a try. Um, I really know how to do this. Okay, that's, that's fine. Then all you gotta do is just get naked, okay? Okay. Just think about that, just, just get naked. That's all you gotta do. Okay, like fully naked. Fully naked. Okay. No bra, no panties, no shoes, nothing. Just, just you and the air. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Zipper is kind of tricky. Okay, got it. The sweaty hands don't help the, uh, the zipper. Why would my hands be so I'm nervous. Be nervous. <laughs> Okay, should I put this you anywhere? just toss that anywhere. Okay. Um, yeah, go ahead and take off your necklace. Any of the guys at Harvard that you've had sex with, do you think will be able to to translate over to this business like you have? Um, no, and I think what's funny is that I think a lot of guys are like, oh, it'd be so easy to be the guy in porn, it'd be a great job, but um, for certain qualifications, I don't think any of them would be. Okay, like what, specifically? Um, stamina is probably going to come in at number one. Number two, size. Number three, sexuality slash sex drive. Basically, all the important parts of having sex. Okay. All right. So overall, how would you rate today? Really good. What scale are we doing? Ten One out to ten. ten. Yeah. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Perfect. That's great. That's great. Okay. We are all done, Jesse. Thank you very much for coming out. We are very happy to be able to have experiences with you. 
and uh, wish you, you a lot guys. of luck in your future. It's, you know, we're excited to see what happens with it. Cool. Cool. We are done.